Dr. Smith, we are officially, as has been noted, passing the baton to you. You have the support of everybody in this audience. You have the love. We trust you. We know the God that you serve, and we trust him as well. And we challenge you to be all that you can be in the position of the president of York College. Your colleague, Dr. Sam Smith. Thank you. Wow. I would like to extend my heartfelt welcome to each of you for being here today to celebrate this special moment in the history of York College. Welcome, Board of Trustees delegates, faculty, staff, students, <laughs> family, friends, and mom. <laughs> it is indeed rare that a president's inauguration is celebrated more than a year after beginning one service to an institution. The global COVID pandemic caused us to alter our plans to assemble here today at this time instead of last year. And I refuse to see this as a challenge. I'm choosing to see this as an opportunity that very few presidents are given. Most often during an inauguration, a president will pontificate about what they expect in their new role. I, however, get to speak from more than a year of experience at this amazing institution. After serving in this role for more than a year, I am still able to say Chairman White, Board of Trustees, faculty and staff and students, I am honored, humbled, and excited to serve as the 21st President of York College. <laughs> There are too many people on my list to personally express my gratitude towards during this specific moment, including mentors, leaders, ministers, co-workers, friends, and family. However, it would be a cosmic failure to experience this moment without acknowledging my incredible wife who continues to support me in this work, puts up with me when I might be a little cranky, and loves me unconditionally. The basic truth, the real truth is that I not, would not be standing here today if it weren't for my amazing, incredible, outstanding wife, Lisa. In addition, my daughter, Brooklyn, and sons, Bear and Bowden, have been steadfast in their support of me and your college. They had no idea when we assumed this role as president how many miles they would have to travel, <laughs> how many homes they would get to visit, how many meals they would get to or have to eat, and how many events they would get to attend. And through it all, they have shown support and they have heroically assumed their roles as ministers here at York College. Thank you, Lisa, Brooklyn, Bear, and Bowden. <laughs> to all of our faculty, this is what I know. You are brilliant, you're gifted, and you are loved by our students. You each have a ministerial approach to your courses that extends past class periods and semesters. You each grasp the importance of your work and understand that your ability to educate students is not transactional, it's transformational. 
I look forward to serving with you for many years. To all of our incredible staff, your work at your college is crucial to the mission of this institution. You are the support in countless ways that enables our students to begin their journey at York College and continues long past the time after they graduate. You are loved and you are appreciated. And to our students, you truly are special. I have met and spent time with so many of you, and each of those moments reinforces to me why my family and I are here at York College. You are deeply loved, and you are amazing. Understandably, I'm often asked what my vision is for York College. And if I were able to spend hours of uninter uninterrupted time with you and a dry erase board, I could easily cast my vision for academic programs, fine arts, athletic facilities, student housing, endowments. But many hurdles can cause a vision to feel like programs and projects are only a dream. But I believe that God is in control and able to make dreams come re to reality. And not only do I believe that, but I have seen that at York College. The truth is, the very root of my vision for this institution is to unashamedly be the Christian institution that we claim to be. Let me say that again. The very root of my vision for this institution is to unashamedly be the Christian school that we claim to be. Long before I arrived on campus, York College articulated its aspirations through its mission statement. And that statement is why I am here as president. That's why I said yes. In its simplest form, the mission of York College is to transform students through a Christ-centered education. I love the idea of transformation. I think it's a dominant theme that we find throughout Scripture. The way that I see it is that David transformed from a shepherd to a slayer of giants. The way that I see it is that Paul transformed from a persecutor of Christians to a church builder. The way I see it is that Mary transformed from a virgin to the mother of the Messiah. The way I see it is Lazarus transformed from a carcass in a tomb to a man full of life. We will continue to be an institution that focuses on the incredible transformation that can happen in the lives of students, faculty, staff, and our campus through Christ. Transformation, by its very definition, is a thorough or dramatic change in form or appearance. Our mission then states that we aspire for our students to be different as a result of the York experience. In the same way, our institution must continue to hold to the bold, unchanging truth of Jesus Christ while transforming our students, our faculty, our staff, and our campus to best serve the ever-changing needs of our students. There are, two, <clears throat> there are two specific ways that we as an institution will transform in the coming years. As the new president of York College, I guess I'm new, I'm excited to share with you these transformational actions that will lead us into the future. First, today we are publicly launching a comprehensive capital campaign that will shape figuratively and literally the York experience moving forward. This new campaign titled To Honor and To Serve has an aggressive goal to raise $15.9 million for this institution. We have identified three strategic areas that will benefit from this campaign. First, funds raised will go towards student scholarships. <laughs> Second, funds raised will go towards campus renewal projects. And third, the campaign will focus on equipping students not just for their time at York, but beyond. 
York has many, many, many friends that I believe will rise to the challenge to ensure that we have a successful campaign. There are also many people who have never attended York College, but I believe that they believe deeply in a Christian education and want to ensure that the future is bright for those who are seeking a Christ-centered education. We are trusting that God will bring many of those friends to York College as joyful givers. The second action of transformation I want to share with you is a very bold step forward as an institution. The York College brand is strong for those who have attended York College, for those who have worked at York College, it is strong. The York College brand is strong for those who have taught at York College. However, for many of the students we are recruiting today, the word college tells a different story, a story that we don't want them to know. Over time, college has been associated with community colleges and technical schools. Those institutions are very important for higher education, but York has more to offer than a two-year degree. We have students who earn associates and bachelor's and master's degrees. We have traditional four-year on-campus programs. We have online programs. We have graduate programs. Who we are now is much more than a college, and we are ready to lean into a new name. Next summer, we will officially transition from York College to York University. <laughs> not, not only does York University better describe who we are and who we aspire to be, but it will help attract students in the recruiting process and enhance students' resumes as they seek master's and doctoral level degrees and in their pursuit of job placements. York University will help pave the way for success for our students. But let me be clear, our mission won't change, our mascot won't change, our colors won't change, but we will be York University. In conclusion, the path forward for higher education will be anything but easy. The challenges facing faith-based institutions are too numerous to count. I knew this prior to accepting this role as president. So, Chairman White, Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and students, I accept this role because I believe our God is bigger than the challenges. I accept this role because I believe our faculty and staff work and serve restlessly. I accept this role because I deeply care about every student at York. And I humbly accept this role because I can think of no more noble task than to transform students through a Christ-centered education. Thank you.